Robots now online. Deploying water robot. Water delivery successful. We did not originally plan on having the robots in for sure, but then we got a grant for it, and so it could be kind of a new option that we could bring in a little more STEM into the classroom. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, we call it STEM, uh, just this group of a lot of I guess the more analytical subjects that you can kind of pursue. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the world objectively and how we get to kind of manipulate that and understand that, which I think is really cool. Uh, I started in physics. That was my, my subject in undergrad. And I just loved how we get to take all these things that we kind of take for granted every day and really understand the math behind it and how it works. and kind of all of these fundamental principles of how the universe works. And then we get to take those principles, and once we understand how it works, we get to manipulate it in fun different ways, and that's kind of where technology comes in. Uh, I wanted to find something that was new, but also could be implemented through the computer science part of the class, and so they can use Python to code the robots to do things automatically. Uh, it came in uh, like a box, and there were like 10 different ways you can make the robot. And it was kind of like building like IKEA furniture or like um, Legos. It, it's pretty like simple instructions that lead you through the entire way. Learning more about like stuff like this, the motors and um, how to build things like that. That can lead to more more fun projects in the future. Especially at a high school level, we're mostly concerned about getting them excited about the subject so that they might want to pursue it. Really? Too heavy. Oh. oh. Oh! <laughs> Maybe we take a little bit off of it. You want to open the, open the clock? It's not just can we learn all of the science we've collected over the last 2,000 years or however long. It's can we apply it? Can we think like scientists? Can we kind of be scientists so that regardless of what we study, we're ready for it? Since we have three of them, they can be built in a lot of different combinations with the same set. And so I'm hoping that maybe we can have some kind of fun competition with the robots and do something at least on our local level. So we were thinking, what if we instead made like a, a spider, like a spider design, um, sort of for like all terrain, but instead of having like, uh, like crawling, instead we attach wheels to each leg and it has suspension to uh, go across all surfaces. And like maybe even like a camera dolly, but it's with that kind of design, so that way it it does stay, stay smooth, almost like a, like a gimbal. I mean, the world is changing. And I mean, that's why I really like the technology field and why I want to teach more about technology and science is because we are experiencing a very different job market. No matter what field you go into, you're going to probably use a computer. No matter, you know, like th these are just fundamental, essential skills that we have to have now. And so I think having a little bit of understanding of what's happening behind the curtain can help you anywhere.